Welcome back to Big Girl Hunters. You join me in my van in Paul in Dorset, and once again, I'm super excited. Well, because I'm going fishing, but a little bit special. I always say that, but this one is a little bit special. I'm heading down to Wales. We're going to fish the River Wye with a couple of my mates and also meeting up with my dad. This is something I've wanted to do pretty much all my life. I've always heard lots of stories from my dad of, of times past when he's fished the Wye. He goes there quite regularly with some of his friends, but I've never actually been to the Wye and fished it. Like I say, a lot of my friends have, but I haven't. Um, full of barbel. I don't really know much about the stretches that we're going to to be honest. I'm hoping that uh, we can sort of get amongst a few. I know it's stacked full of barbel. It's now afternoon and depending on what time we get there hopefully on our campsite there's a stretch that holds some barbel so we're hopefully we can have a couple of casts and maybe even winkle one out tonight and then we've got the, the proper fishing all Saturday and Sunday and then driving home so I'm super excited. I've got everything ready in the van. I haven't had a barbel out for a year and it's I'm getting really uh, I'm clucking for one so I'm getting super excited I think it's three and a half hours from, from where I am now, three, three hours, something like that, just over. So let's hit the road and hopefully she'll be kind to us. On the beers already? How long you been here for? About that long. Traffic was bad, wasn't it? A bit tight in here, isn't it? Right, I've only been fishing for a few hours and actually this was just a five minutes after a, uh, a recast so I was on the feeder but it was bouncing around too much going into the weed so I put on a, a gripper lid, little PVA bag and the S-Core 2 boily. It was literally whacking away straight away so hopefully first of many. Not the biggest one but a real dark, dark fish, absolute stunner, about four or five pounds. Beasted me, weeded me up for a little bit but I managed to get it in so yeah, buzzing. First one from a new river just near the campsite. Let's get a few shots. Dad, Dad, you They're strong, remember? Go on, son. Go on, Dad. Get on the churn. Weeded you up. Yeah. Go on. Ah. 
Yeah, you'll probably have reached that forever. You need to be quicker than that, Dad. Ooh, so don't pull it so hard. No, it's, it's not. You, you just keep the pressure on it. Disappointed. Disappointed in you. Right, second bite. Just had this one. Seven pound on the nose. Getting bigger. Real long fish, but they haven't got much weight to them here because of the big old river and the flow. And they obviously uh, <laughs> don't put on much weight, unlike me. But yeah, absolute banger. Another one on the on the Escort 2. I'll get the rod back out. Dad's just casted out on my spot, doing a bit of poaching. This way. <laughs> yeah, so let's get this one back. Absolute banger. Is he alright? Mm -hmm. And we're not. We're, I'm having them out for probably a minute because I do all the stuff first. Well, good morning. You join me on the beautiful banks of the Ross Wye. It's absolutely stunning. Some of the most beautiful river scenery I've seen for a very long time. I've always wanted to come in. I tell you what, it doesn't disappoint. So as you would have seen, last night was a pretty productive night. I ended up with seven barbel. I had seven, lost one. I caught two or three trub. Ollie had one um, and my dad had one and lost one as well. So all out of the same swim. Uh, it was pr pretty crazy actually. And to be honest, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. We had two sevens, a couple of, most of them were about six, five pound, that sort of, and, and the one that Ollie had was the smallest, Scampsworth. Still stunning fish though. And I'm over the moon with that, to be honest, because the session last night was a bit of a bonus session. Where we're staying at the campsite, there's a little bit of river that runs to it and it's so overgrown. We had to, me and my dad had to beat out and make our own swim, which I'll show you, hopefully, if I go back there later, I will, uh, I'll show you the swim because we've we're booked on a place today and then a different stretch tomorrow which was the main two days and we've I've been here for an hour or so I have had a chub about three four pounds this morning and um, Ollie's had a chub I don't know if um, Denny or, or Matt have had anything and my dad hasn't had anything he's just at the moment just doing some bait dropping he's found a nice deep hole in the, in the margin to the left oh something out there on the surface I've seen a few salmon on this stretch oh well sorry about that interruption the bailiff was just coming through in his truck and taking the money and that and just having a bit of a natter. Nice old boy. Put us onto a few spots. To be fair, where he said the barbed wire is actually where I'm fishing. So, you know, bang on it with lo the location. But I tell you, it doesn't, doesn't start happening until much later. So, and it is a hot day. It's gonna get this 30 degrees today. It's the hottest day of the year. It's an absolute scorcher. So as I, so as I was saying, me and my dad, we managed to make a swim at this river. It was obviously doesn't get fished very, very often. And we were sort of doubling up, had a rod each. And then um, Matt, Denny and, and Ollie were up in the bigger swim where it was really muddy and a bit of a beach swim. And to be honest, I've, I actually fancied that swim originally. And my old man was like, oh yeah, well, you boys go in that swim. And I was like, nah, dad, you stitched us. And I didn't actually quite fancy it. And I started on the feeder. So although the river doesn't look like it's flowing through, it's, there is still a bit of flow on it. And it was swinging around even on a three ounce uh, feeder. And it was just weeding me up and I was getting right moody after about an hour. Switched around to a gripper lead, s cob oily hair ridge, real simple. Little bag, of PVA bag of pellets, bang it out there. And it was out there for like a couple of minutes. Whacked right, right round. And then, yeah, and I continued to catch right up until we fished, me and Ollie fished until about one o'clock in the, in the morning. The rest went to bed at about 11. Like I say, this morning, it's very, very hot. It's already 24 degrees at about nine o'clock. It is absolutely roasting here in near Wales. It's not, I've been saying Wales, but I, I don't know if we're quite, we're near South Wales anyway. We're not, I don't know if we're quite in there, but we're certainly close. And um, all I know is I haven't seen the shop for ages in this fields everywhere and it's absolutely beautiful, but it's close enough and the accents are very boy -o. I cannot wait to, to get the rod back out. Um, I thought I'd just give it a rest. What I've been doing since I've been here um, is sort of every 20 minutes, just free boilies out on the spot because obviously it's a long bit I'm putting it right down the river and then it's just drifting up drifting under the flow will just take them under underneath my spot and hopefully get them confident like I say there's plenty of them in here he was just telling me in this swim that I'm standing in now a few days ago uh, lads had a five chub out and seven barb in, in a day so similar to what I had last night so hopefully if we can locate a pocket of fish you'll be bang into them if you get a bite it's just a case of getting on them I'm going to drop in here for an hour or so just while I let the bait do its job over in that swim and also because it's shady in here and it's uh, it's absolutely lovely compared to what it is over there and I will try and uh, see if I can have one out. Hopefully we can keep it going. I say biggest so far is um, just over seven. It'd be nice to get a double but I don't think they, too many of them would go to doubles in here and the biggest chub we've had so far I think was five pounds so not a, not a huge chub but not a small one either. Yeah, they have, yeah. Actually, you have a 
this whole hook and scoff. <laughs> oh, that's much smaller than my one. Old fish is on pest control. Look at them doing about 30 knots with the current. I don't think I'm going to pass out much. Yeah, it's hot. 30 degrees in Wales, boy. Well, what can I say? I'm uh, waving the white flag up on this particular stretch and uh, calling it quits. I'm going to head back to the campsite. It's been an absolute savage heat wave. We've been here for 14 hours on, on the stretch. I've, I've probably fished only for about three, four hours max at a time just because I couldn't take the heat. I've been chopping and changing swims, changing tactics, trying to get a bite. And uh, no, no barbel from this stretch for me. I've been pestered by chub. Seems every time I cast, I get a chub. And like I say, very bright sun. I just, even on the wire, I think it, you're going to struggle today. Ollie has had one barbel. I sort of moved my stuff down and fished with him for about an hour. Didn't get a touch. And now what I'm going to do is, it's about eight o'clock. I'm going to head back to the campsite and get the rod out for an hour. Just knit on the, on the stretch there and see if I can nick a final barbel of that evening. And then we're off to a different stretch tomorrow morning. It's been really tiring. I'm absolutely knackered. So this is me signing out. All right, guys. Come back from a real grueling day's fishing. We've had nothing but pestered by chub. And to be fair, I've been at the river for like 13, 14 hours. I've only fished three of it because it's been so hot. Just got back to the original spot. And uh, there we go. Seven, what, seven pounds, two ounces into the... Uh, in the campsite spot. Buzzing. The rod was only out for a minute and she banged over. Cracking little fish. Hopefully we can get some more tonight. Buzzing. Well good morning and welcome back. I'm all refreshed after a nice night's sleep and I'm back down at a new stretch. As you can see a totally different contrast from yesterday. Although it is kind of warm and muggy we've got huge winds coming through. It's really overcast and cloudy and it's looking bang on and the pressure's dropped slightly as well. It just feels nice to actually be on the bank and be cool and not just be sweating after yesterday. Hottest day I've fished in the UK for a very, very long time. Much longer bit of river here. We've got five hole beats. The river does sort of get smaller and picks up flow a bit, bit further down. And we, and we spoke to the bailiff for, for a good long time and he's put us on down here on the first field. He reckons that all the fish have been coming down from this end, even though the flow's a bit um, slower here. This, the peg that I'm actually in, it's called Kev's peg. I, I saw these, it's got, I mean, it's probably about 50 yard chuck. It's actually it's quite a wide river and off to those bushes over there. I saw them overhanging trees and I thought they, that just looks pucker. I um, mean, yeah, I thought this is a bit of me. I've got my uh, stalker cart rods with me. I'm glad I've bought them because some of the conditions have been savage really. So they've, they've uh, done, a, done a trick. I'm on eight bubble now. See if I can get a couple today and maybe get, get up to that 10 mark. It's been buzzing. I'm, I'm so, so shocked that I caught that one last night in, in those um, heat, warm conditions. Let's get the leads out and have a little play and see, see what it's like out there. The original plan was to fish from about 6 to about 11 and then once it's warmed up, go and have some nice grub. Uh, maybe go to, the, go to the pub or something um, and, and, and cool down and then come back and then fish sort of the afternoon, evening and then it's the long old drive back to, back to Dorset for us. So I'm not quite sure what time I'm going to stay till. I don't think I'll be leaving evening because it takes a long old while to get back. It took me nearly four hours to get here due to traffic. I'm hoping that the traffic won't be so bad. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm hopeful for a bite. The conditions are looking much, much better. Dad's to the right of me. He's getting all set up. I'm hopeful that me and the rest of the lads, including Dad, can all bag one today and we can, can go. Awesome.
Well, wouldn't it? Might be a good day then. Literally just cast that out. At least I can get a photo for you. That should come out because I've caught it. Yep. Right, so unfortunately I've had to leave a little bit earlier than expected. It's, it's pretty hot and um, to be honest I'm, I'm knackered. We're gonna, originally we we're going to leave at sort of dusk, but it's got about at least three hours, maybe plus, um, maybe four uh, hour drive, depending on traffic, all the way back to Dorset. So I decided to cut my, uh, cut my losses. I did have one this morning, but just as the bailiff was coming, I didn't want to faff around with the fish, so me and Dad put, put it back. And uh, also Ollie had one, so that was it for today. And yeah, it's been an absolute buzz. I've got Matt in the car with me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're, we're off back, back to Bournemouth. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed watching. And um, yeah, get on, get on the channel! Get on the channel!